Hi students, in the video, we will exercise 1.6 6th sum. In an examination, 50% of the students passed in mathematics and 70% of the students passed in science, while 10% of the students failed in both subjects. 300 students passed in at least one subject. Find the total number of students who appeared in the examination if they took examination in only two subjects. So, first in the examination, 50% of the students passed in mathematics. So, mathematics 50% student pass. Okay, ba? and 70% of the student passed in science. So, science 70% student pass. Then, 10% of the students failed in both the subjects. So, now we have a set of students. So, this pass is not a pass. The center portion is not a pass. Common is not a pass. Right? And 10% fail in. So, failing is not a set of students. So, if you fail, you will have a set of students. So, 10% fail. Okay? Then, 300 students passed in at least one subject. At least, what do you mean? If you pass in one subject, then we will pass two subjects. Right? So at least we will pass one subject in the list. Then we will pass two subjects in the 300. So if you pass what you have in the 300, this portion, that is a minus b. So a minus b max is the maximum. Then max is the science. Then science is the maximum. You pass three of them in the 300. So, what is this? This is A union B, right? So, N of A union B, you can get 300. Okay, so what is N of A union B? We have a formula for N of A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. But, we don't have the intersection part. So, how do we see the intersection part? Now, you can tell me that 10% of the students failed in both the subjects. So, if you fail in two subjects, you will be common in both the subjects. You will be common in both the subjects. So, you will be common in 10% of the students. So, if you fail in 10% of the students, you will pass. Now, we can calculate the percentage. We can calculate the percentage of the students. Right? Now, 100% is 100 divided by 100. Now, 50% is 50 divided by 100. 100% is 50 marks. That means, so, 10% is failed. Okay? Percentage of students failed in both the subjects. In two subjects, 10% is failed. Then, how many percentage of students are passed? So, percentage of students passed in both subjects is equal to motto 100 percent okay wa so how many percent fail 10 percent fail in both the subjects abdi na 90 percent passed in both the subjects it is a meaning okay so how many percent 90 percent two subjects are passed so 90 percent common are abdi na abdi okay wa so how many this one n of m this one n of s Okay, so this part is n of m intersection s. So, this is n of a, this is n of b, this is n of a intersection b. Okay, now, n of a union b, this is the students, number of students. But here, this is the percentage. Now, what is the difference between students and students? Now, if you have 40 students in your class, you can see that you have 40 students to present. So, you can say that you have 100% of all of them present. So, what is the percentage? So, what is the percentage? A full amount. A full number. We have the percentage. 100% of all of them are full. Okay, so, if you have 300 students, अपडिंग करा दे ये इतना परसेंटेज ना हमलोग तेरी याद है, ओके? 300 स्टूडेंट्स उन्दे टोटल स्टूडेंट ले इतना परसेंट पास आयर कांगा अपडिंग ना हमलोग तेरी याद है, ओके? नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स पास तो उन्दे 300, बट ये इतना परसेंट उन्दे स्टूडेंट्स पास ने हमलोग तेरी याद, सो आदत ताई पे ना मगर डे पढ़ी Okay, ma. So, n of a union b is n of m plus n of s minus n of m intersection s. Right? So, n of a 
plus n of b minus n of a intersection b. Okay, now n of a is 50% and n of b is 70% minus n of a intersection b is 90%. Okay, now we have percentage of n of a union b. So, 50 plus 70 120. So, 120 minus 90 is equal to 30%. So, 30% students pass. Purida yena idalami pass than. Okay, so 30% students pass. Number of students ethan bear pass. 300 students pass. Apeidu idu one than. 30% of the total number of students. That is 300. Okay, wow. so now we will see the question. Learn. Find the total number of students who appeared in the examination. So, total pass plus fail all the total student exam appear in the exam. Okay, wow. 30% of the students, 30% of total number of students. Right? So, total number of students is 30% 300 students. So, if you look at 30% 30 by 100, half 9 to total number of students is x. Okay, that is equal to 300. Upper x is equal to 300 into the 30 by 100, 100 by 13. Varu. Okay, wa? so in the 0, in the 0 cancel pannila. 3 1s are 3, 3 10s are 30. So, 10 into 100,000. Okay, wa? so appa x in the end, total number of students. Then, appa mokta yetthana students on the, the exam la appear ayar kaangan paathinga na, 1000 students exam eludhi irukkaanga. Okay, alle yetthana student pass na, 300 students na pass ayar kaanga. Chariya, so appa yetthana percent of students pass na, adhu thaan 30 percent of students pass ayar kaanga. So, total number of students na samla kanda padika solir kanga. Therefore, total number of students who appeared for the exam is 1000. Chariya? That's all.